everyone in this video we will cover the selling and buying section now selling and buying modules both are interrelated that's why we will cover both of them together so let's begin now in this video we will cover the following five steps the further steps i will cover in another part that is part two and part three so let's begin with the first one that is adding a lead now creating a lead and opportunity so lead and opportunity both can be created by sales user and sales manager now what they can do is they can go ahead and create a lead over here like if you see right now i'm in the sales users login and i can click on add lead and i can add all the details of the lead so this way it will be like i'm creating lead manually within the system now the way mostly the leads are created are is like automatically they're automatically created from the website like if somebody uses the contact us page on the website then we will have a lead so let's use that one because that is more appropriate so i'll use the email address so let's say this lead have an inquiry regarding i had a question okay regarding iPhone price all right and then we will click on send now as soon as the message is sent within the system what happens is the lead as well as opportunity both of them are created so I'll go over here if you see we have Jessica over here and the status is opportunity we also got this opportunity over here so if like if suppose I would have created a lead within the system like over here so what I would have done is I would have clicked on this over here after creating lead I would have clicked on opportunity that is if I came to know that okay lead is further interested in buying and items and all that then I would have clicked on opportunity now since I already know that the lead is interested in buying an iPhone so I'll go ahead within this opportunity and I'll do one thing that is I'll add the items over here so let's say we have with items and I'll click on iPhone we'll consider that this particular lead wants an iPhone We'll also add the adapter, just one minute, I'll delete this. Okay, and this is like over here we want, let's say, two iPhone. This particular customer wants two iPhone and two adapters. And I'll click on save. Now usually when a lead is added in the system, it is also advised that you add the address of the lead because address is important when we want to calculate the taxes. So I'll do one thing, I'll go back to the lead and I'll add the address over here. So let's just say that it is Jessica address. Let's say that lead is from Bangalore. So I'll just keep the name as Bangalore address. And we'll say Bangalore again. And here we'll say Karnataka. Now writing a correct spelling over here is very important because the whole GST setup is done based on the tax rules and that's why we should make sure that the state and province is correct and over here I'll also select the GST state let's say Karnataka and that's all now we have created both lead and opportunity now the next step is to create a request for quotation so basically we will request the amount from the supplier at which we will buy the particular items from them now request for quotation can be created by both purchase user as well as purchase manager. So I have the purchase user's role right now. So I'll use that particular role to create a request for quotation. So let's go ahead and create it. Now over here you need to add the list of suppliers from whom you will be asking for this particular items. So let's add. I'll add two suppliers. And I'll add the supplier Hyderabad over here. And you also need to s add the warehouse. Warehouse is basically where the particular items will be received. So let's say I'll add this particular warehouse over here. Okay, what is this? All right, so once this is created by purchase user, now the purchase manager needs to approve this request for quotation. So you need to log in with the user with the role of purchase manager so I'll go over here this this is the role of the purchase manager and I'll go into the buying section 
and I'll click on request for quotation. So this one is in the draft state. Now purchase manager can confirm that okay, this these are the items that we are requesting from these two suppliers. So once this is submitted, what will happen is this two suppliers will get an email regarding this particular items that we have requested for them from them. So let's submit and see what happens. So here you see it is showing that email sent to supplier Bangalore and supplier Hyderabad. Supplier from Hyderabad. All right, so now one thing to remember about a supplier before creating a request for quotation is that you need to add a supplier with the supplier email as well as the contact details before only. Now in ERP Next, we can add supplier as a user. That is here, if you see this particular supplier is added as a user and the role is supplier over here. And I've also added the same supplier in the supplier list. Like over here, if you see, we have the contact details. And here it will include all the other details like how how many requests for quotations have been created, purchase order have been created and all the other relevant details. So this point you need to make sure that you remember it. Now once the request for quotation is created, we will use the supplier's login in order to add the quotation, add the amounts. So let's go ahead and log in with one of the supplier's account and see how it works out. So I'll use this particular site. So right now I'm logged in as one of the supplier and I need to go to the my account section. And here if you see we have the request for quotation in the sidebar. Here you will see all the quotations that we have requested. So this one you see I have requested it today. Now I'll click on that and here we get the option to add the rates for the particular items. So let's add it and see what happens. Now for this iPhone let's say that one one cost for 45,000. Let's make it a little cheaper. An iPhone adapter, let's say one costs for about 500. And then we can also add notes over here saying that and then we'll submit. Now once the supplier submits the request for quotation, supplier quotation will be automatically created. So let's take a look inside the desk, we'll see. So over here, we can see that I'm in the list, I'm in the supplier quotation list. And over here we have this particular quotation that was created just now. Now you also need to make sure that the correct taxes are applied over here only, since we will create a purchase order from this quotation only. So I'll, I'll add the correct taxes. The particular amount is added and let's click on save. Now if you create a supplier quotation from within the desk then this taxes will be applied automatically but since this was created through the website the taxes are not applied over here. This is some standard bug that I think will be fixed later. All right so let's submit this particular quotation basically we are saying that okay we agree for this amount and let's submit it. Now once this is done, next step is to create a purchase order. So we will order the particular amounts from a supplier. Now this can be again done by both purchase user and purchase manager. So let's use the purchase users login only and I'll create a purchase order. So click on purchase order. And we'll set the date. Let's say we want it by today. And here we also need to set the target warehouse basically where we will get the particular items at. So let's say we want it at finished goods. And here if you see this tax template is coming from the supplier quotation that we just created. All right, let's click on save. And we will submit the purchase order. So now once the purchase order will be submitted, the supplier will be able to see 
the purchase order over here on the website in the my account section on the sidebar if you see we have this purchase order the dated today so we'll continue the further in the next video so thank you so much for watching